Hello everyone, welcome to another real-time color pencil drawing tutorial. Today we are going to feature a particular paper which is the gray toned paper or toned gray paper. So uh, I love experimenting with different kinds of papers, textures, even colors of the paper. And you know that one of my favorite papers to use with colored pencils are gray toned papers. And I have three of my favorite gray toned papers right here. The first one, one of my favorites is the Canson Mitientes flannel gray so because there are several colors of the canson mitientes and if i want to use gray tone paper for colored pencils i choose uh, the flannel gray of this canson mitientes or mitients i don't know how to really pronounce that so this is a good paper because it has two kinds of surfaces the one is the surface which is the the, the textured surface uh, large textures for pastels and the back is the one that i use with colored pencil which is uh, i can feel that is a bit of a, a medium uh, surface and uh, it can even be um, like the vellum surface because it has a very nice fine tooth to hold the layers of colored pencils. So this is this is not very expensive. That's why I love to use it. But this is an amazing paper for colored pencils. You can use any other shades aside from gray. But today, I, I want to focus on the gray toned papers. And the, the other paper, gray paper that I have is the toned gray of the Strathmore. This is a very nice uh, book of gray paper because uh, there is a hundred pages of gray toned papers right here this is um like the size of uh, 8.5 by 11 inches so this is quite small but i love using this if i have to draw uh small uh, portraits and uh, you can do sketching you can use graphite or charcoal with this gray paper of the strathmore this is 400 series so this is very nice and quality paper uh this is not as thick as the, the, the regular bristol but this is thick enough to handle colored pencils so this is very nice this is uh medium surface also this is not smooth this is not vellum it's something in the middle with perfectly nice tooth that can handle many layers of colored pencils so i love this strathmore 400 series tone gray paper but for this particular drawing tutorial using gray tone paper i will use this the strathmore tone gray mixed media uh paper I, you know why i love this one for bigger portraits is because it can handle almost unlimited layers of colored pencils because this is vellum surface so it has really nice tooth or texture to it that uh, we want we all we want texture for the colored pencils but we don't want um the, the tooth of the paper to show through at the end of the drawing but you will know why i love using tone gray with colored pencils if you haven't tried using tone gray papers for your colored pencil drawings i think it's about time for you to try it it's something different it looks different it feels different and um th than the white paper so the main objective of this colored pencil drawing tutorial is to convince you to try to draw on a tone gray paper i'm not saying that uh, you should abandon using white papers because uh, it's a little bit different but uh, this time i want you to uh, understand why and how gray tone paper works using colored pencils and uh, just being part of the theme overall theme of this tutorial this is what i chose to be my reference photo uh, they are uh, related to the theme but uh, more importantly i'm doing two heads so the main purpose here is to show you how it can be a little bit quicker or faster to draw even if you are drawing two heads on a gray tone paper compare, compared to white papers. So that is what we are going to find out you are going to see on today's tutorial. I hope you enjoy and you learn something from it. I begin the drawing process here in the tone gray paper using colored pencils using this indenting tool. So this is for the uh, highlighted hair or the, the single or individual hair from the mustache or the eyebrows so there are some highlighted individual hairs so what i do is i, I just press this uh, metal uh, in the paper to create uh, indentation and uh, those uh, indented part will not be colored or layered by the colored pencils and that will serve as highlighted uh, hairs or uh, instead of erasing uh, i do the indentation or the indenting for those parts like here on uh, the eyebrows for example so there are some highlighted uh, eyebrows uh, but th the highlights will not be as intense because this is a gray tone paper compared to the white paper but uh, uh, I, I i still do it because i want uh, it, it will still be seen even if it is uh, a gray tone paper so now i start the first uh, part of this uh, drawing which is the blocking in of the shadows i'm using now the black colored pencil so i'm using by the way i'm using faber castell polychromos and uh, i might use prisma color later on but uh, for this part where i am establishing my shadows or i'm blocking in my shadows i'm using the black polychromos now why am i using black i uh, warn um, i warn everyone to use black on the actual skin tone in white papers because the black can be very very intense which is which will make uh, 
it difficult to make realistic skin tone if you use black on white paper but somehow here on this paper which is the toned gray i can see that the black is not going to be as intense because of the tone of the paper um i don't know but uh, it feels like the black the, the tone of the paper the toned gray paper is making the black a little bit less intense or it feels like uh, it is just a very nice dark gray the black here on toned paper but on white paper this is going to be really really dark so uh, don't use black on the skin tone unless the shadow is really really dark on a, on a white paper but here on a toned paper you can see i'm using it even in um, shadows that are not extremely dark as you can see here i use the black on the eyelids i use the black uh where else on the the eye bags and then i'm using it of course i'm, I'm gonna use it here on the mustache but uh uh, I use the black on his uh, face, on the mustache, only on the solid mustache like here uh, because uh, there are some parts of the face where the mustache is scattered in the face and uh, there are some skin in between the mustache so I don't use the black on those parts because I don't want to I, I want to build the skin tone underneath those uh, mustache but uh, there are some solid clumps of the mustache like here on the chin and on the side of the jaw Okay, so I use black also, like here on the outline of the nose. Uh, again, I don't usually do it on a, on a white paper because it's not going to work. It's going to be, uh, it's going to uh, ruin the entire drawing if you use the black uh, on, a, on a white paper. But here on that gray, uh, gray tone paper, that's, that is what's good with this tone gray paper. You can use the black to establish your shadows. So uh, here I'm building the shadows uh, little by little. Uh, using, I even use the black on some skin details like the moles and some freckles in the face and you will see why i use black on this stage even if uh, i'm still just uh, here on this part where i establish my shadows okay so it um, it appears like uh, i'm using graphite or charcoal at this stage because i'm using just pure black polychromos <laughs> colored pencils so uh this is what's cool about using a gray tone paper because uh, the black is very beautifully subtle and not as extremely uh, dark now um, uh, I I'm done using the black on the shadowed parts now I'm gonna layer above the shadowed parts using the black uh, with this another pencil this is the second pencil that I use to establish my shadow this is uh, the polychromos burnt umber this is the burnt umber if you don't have the burnt umber you can use any dark brown or chocolate brown um, it doesn't matter because that is what's um, good about using toned papers, particularly the gray toned paper, because they make up for everything, every color, even if it is not exactly the same color, uh, the, the toned gray pa paper will make up for it. It will still uh, become really nice and uh, the skin tone will become realistic even if you don't use exactly the same colors that I will use here. So you can uh, check your palette and you can uh, see any um, any color that uh, is similar to what i am using so if you don't have this burnt umber you can choose any dark brown or chocolate brown so i hope you don't skip this this video uh this tutorial video especially if you are a colored pencil artist and you want to uh somehow find a way to make portraits easier and quicker so that is what that is my goal to help you because colored pencils can well it has the tendency to to bore anybody because it is really really um, not just hard to blend but also it's it's a very slow process uh, medium so you cannot rush uh, uh, colored pencils especially realism especially re realistic portraiture but with this uh, toned paper it can help you fasten the process without sacrificing the quality of the portrait and that is what you will see hopefully on this tutorial video that was that's why I'm, i encourage you to um to do not skip this video because i am sharing uh, some important techniques and tips that you can apply that you can use with your own portraiture and uh and here the the the, the idea the most uh, uh, important idea of this particular tutorial is you can use a toned paper okay you are not confined with just white paper and you will see why why is it not better but why it will help you um to create realistic portraiture easier and to, to save a lot of time in your drawings and now here on this particular stage as we as you see we were able to establish our shadows especially the dark shadows already now the second stage of this drawing is adding highlights now this is something that you you cannot do with a white paper of course because uh, you cannot use the white pencil 
on a white paper so because this is a tone gray paper now we can maximize the white the white will be very very useful especially for the highlights as you can see here um i i, I don't know if you already know but the, the basic the most basic foundation of a good portrait is a good well-established shadows and highlights so you must be able to establish those two things the shadows and the highlights on your portrait and that is very very much achievable using this toned gray paper now isn't it amazing how much we were able to accomplish by just using three pencils the black the dark brown and the white with our portrait on a toned gray paper so this is a very solid base well actually this is no longer a base i think this is a very nice full-bodied shadow and highlights which we were able to do because we used the gray tone paper. So this is the magic of the gray tone paper with colored pencils. I'm excited now that I see that uh, the, 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 the shape or the figure of the drawing is already established and I can see already the great resemblance of the features from a reference photo. Isn't it amazing? And isn't it exciting to color, to add layers of bright colors to make it more realistic? Because in itself, it is already a very nice drawing, as you can see, very nice shadows and highlights. This is uh, in itself already is a nice uh, portrait art style. So uh, if you want, if I want, I could stay with this result already because as you can see this is already a very nice portrait but i'm going to make it more realistic and you will see it as we layer more and more layers of colors different shades of bright skin colors above this very nice base shadowed and highlighted skin tone right here and you can see the coloring part the, lay the layering part where we are going to make it more realistic on part two of this tutorial video thank you for joining me for this part one see you on part two